Girl, it's me not recording. When is you're taking the ghetto? Hold on, child. Yeah. 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 Hello and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm actually gonna be sharing with you some of the tips that I've learned along the way with decorating my Christmas tree. So these are gonna be tips that's gonna help you for when you're putting up your tree as well as taking your tree down. It's gonna make it very simple, very easy. So you're definitely interested in that. Stay tuned. And so first things first, I'm going to be reusing all of the stuff that I purchased last year. I told myself this year that I was not gonna be spending extra money on Christmas decorations. And so far I've done pretty good with that because I always buy extra. Like I'm that person that I buy way more than I need. Like I could probably help out each of my neighbors and give them something to decorate their tree. But anyway, so here's some of the things that I'm going to be using. I have some of this net that I purchased from Walmart. Um, I don't have the link for it, but they have this every year and they have it in multiple colors, silver, gold, red. I see it every season, so you'll definitely be able to find this um, at Walmart, and if I can link it, I'll link it in the description box below. Next item that I have are these, what's it called? Tinsel stems. So I actually purchased these. Hold on, let me get it focused. All right, so I purchased these from the Dollar Tree. Y'all, don't sleep on the Dollar Tree. Don't let these people fool you and be like, oh, you got to go spend $30, $40 on an ornament. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. I'm not going to put y'all on or spend a whole bunch of money on some wire. None of that. No. So, Dollar Tree. So, we're going to be using this. This is going to come in handy for our ornament. So, this is the key. Okay? But I'm going to show you. And then, I also have some ribbon. Um, that I used last year. So one thing that I will recommend, um, if you're able to, they always have the containers on sale after the Christmas holiday. Definitely grab some containers and be sure to try and organize your Christmas decor so that when the next year rolls around, you're organized, you're ready to go, you know where everything is, and it's not this whole like rat race trying to figure out where are my lights, where is my ornaments, where is this and that. So what I do is I normally have a container per tree. So, and just to give you an idea, last year I had about, I had three trees up last year. One in the dining room, one in our seating area, in our master, which we're, we're in today. And then I have one in the family room. So I have a container for each one of those trees and all the decorations that are dedicated to each tree. So if I buy additional decor, then whatever tree it belongs to, that's where I'm gonna put it, okay? All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get started with our ribbon first. I like to start with my ribbon um, to go ahead and get it out the way. So I'm gonna be using this tree I got from Walmart as well. It's a seven and a half foot phlox pre-lit tree. Um, if I can find it, cause I saw it on the floor when I went in Walmart, so if I can find it, I will link it, but I actually bought this tree um, maybe like a year or two ago and I got it for like $20 because we all know that they put Christmas decor out extra early and then they mark it down. So I was actually able to get this tree, which was a display tree, um, on the floor for $20. That just made me think about the world before the penny. Like I was in the store, no mask, no nothing, just shopping and wow. Should I sanitize this tree? Anyway, no, no. I'm gonna be using two different types of ribbon. Each of these I purchased from Sam's Club. Um, to me, I actually like Sam's Club ribbon and they give you a very large, um, I don't wanna call it spool, I guess, of ribbon. So I'm using this one that I purchased last year that I really, really like. This is, I'm not sure if it's catching it on screen, but this is like a blue, so it's blue and gold. And then I also have this one that kind of makes me think of like Tinkerbell. So it's like a goldish um, sheer ribbon. So we're gonna be using 
both of these and I'm also going to be using the silver net um hold on all right so we're also going to be using the silver net that I showed you all as well but that's kind of going to be a little bit later because I use the net to fill in gaps so you'll see what I'm talking about ribbon on my tree I would definitely say like if your ribbon looks a little funky like don't beat yourself up about it like you can go back and readjust or tuck some parts in and what have you but for me I just kind of let it be what it is and then I put my ornaments on top of it and if I don't like it then I'll just maybe tuck it in a little bit more but I'm not striving for perfection on the first take like it is what it is go to big lots after Christmas because they literally have all their stuff marked down like so cheap and I actually got some really cute stuff so I'm gonna show you what I got so you can see what I'm talking about this is the it's called starry night there you go so I'm not you know telling out the wrong thing but it's called starry night so these are one of the ornaments that I'll be using on the tree originally at big lots they're like six dollars but I think I may have gotten these for like a dollar or two dollars or something like that um which may not sound like a lot to some people but when you're buying a lot of stuff honey it counts okay so I got that also got these decorative um stars they're blue as well so it's like navy blue and it has these little silver stars on the front really cute and then I also got these signs so they say Mary and so I kind of use these to decorate the tree as well. Um, but yeah. So this is also $6. How much was this one? Oh, I don't even. Oh, $6. So everything was $6 regular price. But I know for a fact I got it way cheaper. So yeah. All right. And so this right here. This is the hat, honey. So basically what you do is you'll have an assorted an assorted um, amount of bulbs or what have you when you get them from Walmart. And so basically what you do is you just kind of do them according to the variation of the size. So you're sliding on the tinsel and then you're attaching this portion to the tree. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and attach the ornament to the tree so you can kind of get an idea of how it looks. Um, so you just pretty much pick a spot in the tree. I kind of like this area because it has a little bit of a gap. So that means that I can kind of have the bottom ornament resting in that area and it'll kind of fill up that gap. So that's kind of like my thought process when I'm looking for somewhere to put it. And you can just, you're pulling it towards kind of like the back of the tree but don't pull it too taut because then your ornaments will start to come off. I did not pre-seal mine. You can definitely use a hot glue gun and take the ornaments off of the bulb part. And then you can just hot glue around it and put it back on. So that way you can ensure that none of your ornaments fall off like as you're putting them on the tree. But I didn't want to do that. But you can definitely do that. That's like another little tip for y'all. So I'm going to take this, put this, like pull it not so taut, and then what I'm going to do is just start wrapping it around the branch. And you don't even have to wrap it all the way because as you can see here, I still have like a little bit of string left. So I'm just going to take this and tuck it in the back. And that's it. show you what I mean when I say putting the 
ornaments on the tinsel. So basically all you're gonna do is you take your ornament and you just slide it through the tinsel and then you're just gonna twist it to secure it on there. And then once you secure it on there, you should look like that. And so then you just take another ornament, slide it right on top of it, and you just keep adding your ornaments um, however many you wanna do. I try to stick with between four and five per each cluster. Um, so for these, the little small ones like this, I generally kind of use these as fillers or either I'll put them like somewhere on the side of the tree. Yes, girl, I'm one of them. I do not decorate the back of my tree. If you go to the back of my tree, it show business. But as far as me and what I'm concerned about is the front. Okay, y'all. So here you can see how the bulbs look up against the ribbon and just kind of how it all ties in together. So, and if you have certain bulbs that you feel like may possibly be sticking out a little too far, you can always just kind of play around with it and, you know, pull it around. If you want it to stick out further, not so much. So, yeah. But as you can see, you have to look like extremely close on the tree in order for you to be able to see the string. So, like right there, you can see it because I haven't tucked it all the way in there. But honestly, I may not even fool with it because I have more stuff that I'm going to put on the tree. So I'll see like once I get done. But this is what we have so far. Um, so as I was saying was I just have different pieces. It just depends on the section that needs to be um, filled in wherever a gap is. So I don't really have like too, too many gaps um, in the tree, honestly. But... I see like one up here where I don't really have um, an ornament because I didn't want stuff to be so close together. So I'm going to go ahead and use it. Also, a little trick. I put, um, sometimes depending on the tree, I will put the netting on the back of the tree. So for the girls who don't like to decorate the back of their trees, just put some little netting on the back of it. And then you can put some ornaments on the side of the netting. Hey guys, so we are done. The tree is fully decorated. So definitely let me know about how these tips and tricks may work for you during this holiday season. Um, definitely let me know if you would like to see more videos like this. I really appreciate everyone who continues to keep coming back and watching my videos. Thank you so much for the support. Make sure you comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.